guys, it has come to my immediate attention when it comes to uh, starting two strokes, whether it be the four mix hybrid four cycle slash two cycle uh, engines. I had my guys that work out in the field. They came and picked up all of their equipment and they started every one of those Echo and Steel Weed Eaters before they loaded them up in their trailers. Mind you, these guys are the supervisors that are training these people to cut grass and weed eat and edge and blow and rake leaves, whatever. But the problem is the supervisors don't know how to start the equipment. So how can they relay that knowledge to the uh, the end user that's going to be weed eating. I've got a couple of Echoes and a few Steels here on this rack. These are the ones that aren't finished yet, that haven't been worked on, and waiting on parts. And then when they're done, we swap them over to this rack over here. Now, it gets confusing because some of the Steels have the auto choke. You just twist the choke, it sets the throttle to about half throttle and then you crank it and then when you hit the trigger it knocks it off choke to the run position and some of the echoes don't have that so you have to manually grip the handle and pull that throttle wide open and these guys are trying to start these trimmers and blowers with with no throttle it's so they're sitting there and pull and pull and pull and i'm like i'll walk over and i'm like hey let me show you how to do this and make it easy on your arm and everything else. I said, look, press the primer bulb until there's fuel in the primer bulb. Put it on full choke. Don't be jacking around with half choke and none of that bull crap. Put it on choke. Make the engine go wide open throttle, whether it be a blower or a trimmer. And, you know, right here is even the owner's manual on a SRM 225. It'll tell you right there in the owner's manual to give this engine full throttle to start a cold engine. It's cold out here today, and they were having issues getting them started. I'm like, okay, stop. I went over there, took the trimmer, gave it wide open throttle, choked it, pulled it one maybe two times and they sputtered and i said okay whenever the engine sputters take it off choke wide open throttle when you start it again and the engine should start and every one of them that they did my way started flawlessly and they were like man we've been doing this wrong for 10 years i said i don't know i mean uh, uh, that's just it's in the owner's manual how to start a tremor and the way that I'm showing you is in the owner's manual. So, guys, I, I'm going to show you how to properly start a two-stroke or four-mix also uh, trimmers or a, even a, like a big backpack blower that's got lots of compression. Uh, yeah, let's get it done. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you how to properly start a steel 4 mix. And as we can tell, this is the HT131. This is the extendable pole pruner. And let's get a shot, see if I can get everything in the shot there. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have fuel in the primer bulb. Now, this is a big misconception. This is not a primer bulb. This doesn't prime the carburetor. This is a purge bulb. All it does is purge the air out of the carburetor and sucks up the fuel to the carburetor. So it just makes it easier to start. Now, <clears throat> when you choke this engine, you got to push in. And we're going to put it to choke. Now, if you depress the throttle, it takes it off choke. So, 
whenever you twist the throttle to choke, it's automatically setting the carburetor where it needs to be. So at this point, all you would do would be pull the rope. Okay. At this point, the engine sputtered. It's now you can either put it on manually put it on half choke there that's what I would do now when you crank this engine up it's going to be running at about half throttle or just off idle Whenever you blip the throttle, it takes the choke off, and you're ready to run. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, when it comes to starting a big backpack blower, you have the handle here. Let's see if I can get you a good zoomed in video of that. As you can tell, you have a throttle trigger. And up here is your cruise control. All the way up is off. There's run. And as you can tell, see how it pushes that throttle in for you? And it sticks. That's what it's supposed to do. This is your cruise control, but it's also your throttle lock so you, that you don't have to depress it when you're cranking the engine. Now, when you go to crank one of these big behemoths, same as the HT131 pole pruner, you just want to make sure that you have gas visible in the primer bulb. We're going to flip it to full choke, and then we're going to pull the rope. And we're going to listen for the engine to fire off or fart as some would say so let's go ahead and pull it okay it went boom that's all you need to know don't put it's not going to crank you anymore now pull it off choke and then crank it until it's running These PB770 T's, they run so good. Now the last trimmer that we're going to start. I haven't started this one. This one's on the repair bench. It, all, the only information I get, it says, won't stay on. If I haven't mentioned it already, always be sure that your switch is on or you'll never get them started. Up on the echo towards the cutter head is on. So, we're going to depress the primer bulb just like in the past. Three, four times is all you need. And then we're going to full choke it. Now, I don't know how this trimmer is going to act. This is the first time I've had it on the bench. I'm going to fully depress the throttle, choke it, and then we'll pull the rope and just see what happens. Let me stop you right here real quick. You hear the way that this thing is sounding when you pull the rope. It kind of... That is a telltale sign that that choke butterfly in this carburetor or on this air filter base is not sealing off. It's actually fluttering, making a whistling sound. Bad deal on echoes. I did videos in this in the past, so keep that in mind. Okay. If 
popped off. You might not have be able to hear that on the camera, but it sputtered. So we're going to put it off choke and then pull it. If you pull it three or four times and it doesn't start, redo your choke, pull it again. continuing to run on choke which tells me that the butterfly choke butterfly is not closing off all the way and that's why it was hard to start to begin with yep choke butterfly is loose in this air filter housing so what happens is if it's not closing all the way you're not cutting the air off to the carburetor like you should. But anyway, nevertheless, the starting procedure is the same. Let's go ahead and get it cranked back up <clears throat> and see how it runs. See if we can mimic the issue that the customer was having about it not staying on. Wide open throttle and then pull the rope off choke take it off choke service rider actually got one correct <laughs> won't stay on but anyway guys hey I'm gonna fix this trimmer probably either has an air leak or maybe possibly a fuel restriction could be a carburetor issue but it started and it started the way that it needs to be started if this is how you would go about your diagnostic process anyway is properly starting one Alrighty guys, I hope this information helped you out and if it did, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and while you're there, go ahead and ring that bell and get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your Monday. More Medic One.